Hey world, it's Maheen here again and today we're going to look at some books by Tanzeel Lahan. Uh, she's a writer, um, so an activist for disabled people's rights and women's rights as well. She's a public speaker, a trainer and a very good friend of mine who I've known for a very very long time since I was very very young. And yeah, so let's get into it. Um, this, this one here is A Story of Mexico and it's her first book ever. She wrote this when she was in high school with me and I was, I was a junior over there. And this is a, recent, a more recent one, The Perfect Situation, which came out a couple of years ago, I guess. Let's look at the date. It says here 2013. Wow. I know it's a long time ago, but it, just, it seems very recent to me. And also in the description box, I'm going to leave a, a link to an interview I did, I did with her. I interviewed her. Um, and I interviewed her last year about her writing everything, and I, but I only published the interview very recently, like a month ago. So do, to do, so do go to that one. It's a very good interview. I really enjoyed taking that, and her answers are very good as well. Um, and in that interview, she talked about having another book out in 2016, but that never happened. But it will happen again, and that will be an autobiography, autobiograph, an autobiography sorry, about her life and, how, and her struggles and her activism, basically. But yes, for first, but and I'm I'm really anxious to find anxious and to read that book as well when it comes out. But for now, we have these two. So yeah, Tanzila Han, as I already told you, she's an activist and she really she really does a lot of work for disabled people's rights because she's also um, a disabled person and she's been her on her wheelchair her entire life. But she never let that thing get to her get her down and she and it's really hard for people in, in for the people like that because they have to. They need more care and love, but I think the thing about Tanzila is that she does things that people who are not a special needs they wouldn't do in their life because they're too lazy, they're not, they're not, they don't care enough. But she did that. She's helped millions of people, or thousands and hundreds of them, and she's an inspiration for all of us. So I really do respect and love her a lot. She, she's, she's always been there for me as well, like a, like a really nice older sister. And in this Still, series I want to do. I was talk about Pakistani writers, their life, and see their work as well. So, in this in this novel of hers, a story of Mexico, she was when she was a teenager, I guess. Yes, a teenager, and it's about two two families, two 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 sisters who were separated at a birth, and it's also it's about how one sister goes on, on this long journey to find the other her other sister, and it's a very, it's a very nice story. It's very Shakespeare. It's very classicalish, and. You know, like this really nice old period pieces of old of old people, the fancy names, the fancy lives, who can a farm or other, or they live in a mansion as well. It's like that, and I really liked it. It was really cute and nice. And I think of both of her novels is that they they have very really nice, they have very really quick pace, and there's a lot of action involved in them. And they really, and it's a lot of really funny scenes as well. So I like the writing. It's very funny and cute and quick. So these are very good for airplane readings, if you're wondering. And this was very nice. Um, let's get to the end of here. Hold up. Here it is. It's a little thing about her work at the end. Tanzila Han, she especially wrote Shakespeare and love of classical movies. So, yeah, that makes sense. And in this novel, it's about this girl named Javeria who's, going to, who's about to turn 16. And specifically about her going, having fun with her friends, going through school, and making peace with her parents and the people around her. So I, I enjoyed this one too. It's really cute. It was really nice and cute and, and girly. And the, and, the, and the story, Pregnancy was really was a really young girl. And it does really it's something I could, I could relate with. I'm such a klutz. Mind my jabbering a bit, please. I'll get better with time. But anyway, I really love Tanzila and I love her work. And I guess this is, this is a pretty brief, brief video. But, but I'll, I'll do a more detailed work, detailed analysis of her work in the future. This is, just, this, this is just a brief overview of her work. So thank you for being here. And please stick around for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.